pinagsaan ng libo-libong Pilipino ang Cathedral of Our Lady of the Angels dito sa Los Angeles sa pagsisimula ng simbang gabi. Taong 1669, nang umpisahan ang tradisyong ito sa Pilipinas na minana pa sa mga Kastila. Inumpisahan ng mga pare na magdaos ng misa sa madaling araw sa halip ng novena sa gabi. Ayon kay Bishop Oscar Solis, Auxiliary Bishop of the San Pedro Pastoral Region, masaya siya sa naging kinalabasan ng unang gabi ng simbang gabi dahil sa dami ng taong dumalo. More than, you, you saw the number of people who came tonight. In spite or despite of the rain, the inclement, inclement weather, people came. And the, the church, you could feel the spirit. It's so alive. You know, it's so festive, even the songs. And the spirituality is there, reflected and manifested in the hearts of the Filipinos. It's a beautiful sight, actually. And it's so gratifying to see and be a part of the celebration here in Los Angeles. The role of the church is to evangelize, to open the doors of the church in order to bring people closer to Christ. And to celebrate the cultural tradition as a part of the faith of the community is wonderful. It's wonderful. You feel closeness. You feel you become a part of the church. And belonging is a very important, important aspect of our life, a sense of belonging. So it means that the church welcomes people of different faiths as well as people of different cultures. And so it is a sign of the hospitality of the church. Simbangabi is one of the oldest spiritual tradition in the Philippines. They call it Misa de Gallo. It started in order to provide opportunities for those who work, who go to work early, so that they will have the opportunity to go to church. At simula noon, naging tradisyon na ito ng maraming Pilipino, ngunit sa paglipas ng panahon, nagbago na raw ang oras nito upang tugunan ang mga pangangailangan ng mga nagtatrabaho. In the Philippines, yes, it's 4 a.m. There, there are some churches in the Archdiocese of Los Angeles that hold this in gabi early in the morning also. The, I think the earliest I heard is 5 o'clock. Dagdag pa ni Bishop Solis, taon-taon ay dumarami ang mga dumadalo sa simbang gabi. You know, for the past 12 years that I've been here in the Archdiocese of Los Angeles, I noticed that the attendance is growing. And it is a mixture of young, old, and even little children attending Mass, even in the evening. So I see some progress and a deeper appreciation of this cultural tradition among Filipinos. Simbangabi is a wonderful contribution of the Filipinos to the church in America. Advent is a time of spiritual preparation. And without Simbangabi and the Hispanic posadas, there is nothing else in the church that provides an opportunity for spiritual growth and preparation for the celebration of Christmas. So I consider Simbangabi as a great contribution of the Filipino to the church in America. Our Holy Father, in fact, uh, exhorted us that those immigrants should not be embarrassed of their cultural traditions. And so we are so fortunate and blessed here in the Archdiocese of Los Angeles to have a shepherd. Uh, we have Cardinal Mahoney, the uh, Archbishop Emeritus, who was so much, so very supportive of the Simbangabi. And uh, Archbishop Gomez is following this beautiful tradition here in the local church of Los Angeles. In fact, uh, I would add that uh, the church in America is considered as an immigrant church now. And so this is a beautiful manifestation of the hospitality of the church to welcome various traditions as part of our faith life here in the United States of America. Karamihan sa mga nagsimba ay nagdarasal na matutupad ang kanilang mga wish ngayong Pasko, kabilang na si Zeni Malalin Pera na pinagdarasal niya na gumaling na ang kanyang ina. My wish for Christmas is for my mom to get better. I would really look forward to seeing her in March. My wish for the world is of course peace and happiness and especially at a time that we are right now. Sa homily ni Bishop Edward Clark, Auxiliary Bishop ng Archdiocese of Los Angeles, pinigyan niya ng importansya ang dahilan kung bakit ininaos ang simbang gabi. Why did you go out? Because you were curious? Because you wanted to see a celebrity? Because you hoped to hear a prophecy being told? At may mensahe din si Bishop Solis para sa mga Pilipino ngayong Pasko. I wish the Filipinos to continue, to continue making a difference in the life of the church in America. I consider the Filipinos, we consider the Filipinos as the new Irish missionaries into the newfound land. 
you know. And I hope that uh, we will not stop living our traditions and expressing uh, the richness of our faith as Filipinos because it is an important component of the life of the church here in America. To all the Filipinos uh, here in America, in the Philippines, and wherever they are, may God continue to bless each and every one of us so that we become a part of the faith life of the people we meet wherever we are and make a difference in the communities that we live. Bring the beautiful and rich Filipino tradition, share it, and make a difference in the world to make it a better place to live in. Maligayang Pasko po sa inyong lahat. Para sa kababayan today, Effie Barker, Nagoo.